What's up guys? It is IRGT85. Happy Friday. But of course, we have some video game news to talk about. Now, I'm filming this Thursday night, so there's a good chance that Spawn Wave's title will be very similar to mine, but I don't really care because I'm actually going to look at my new house tomorrow and measure some crap because yay adulthood but we do have some topics i want to cover in today's video so if this is your first time on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button be sure to like and share the video as well but without any further ado let's talk about what's going on in the world of good old video games and we're going to start things off with some good sony news some very good playstation news because a lot of people were expecting there to be some big event for sony to happen in august and really you didn't get much of anything you got a lot of delays for your playstation 5 games and horizon forbidden west of course slipped into 2022 so a lot of playstation fans were like well what's going on with this admittedly i haven't played my playstation 5 since i finished ratchet and clank because i really play my third party games on the xbox series x i just like the user interface a little bit better but now there is some excitement within sony's universe because they announced that a big event will be happening and it's actually happening very soon so the playstation showcase is taking place on september 9th which is of course is next thursday and it'll be taking place at 4 p.m eastern time i like how sony does their stuff like later on in the day nintendo those like oh yeah 9 a.m east coast wake up and if you're on the west coast it's like 6 a.m like you know screw you you have to wake up to cover this but this is going to be a 40 minute presentation it's basically going to take a look at the future of the playstation 5 some updates from playstation studios for games coming out this year and beyond so essentially a nintendo direct style presentation from sony of course the state of play events were definitely sort of like you know nintendo directs as far as how they were structured and you know even like the slide transitions and stuff that they've used in those have been very similar but this is a very exciting event because it's not a state of play this is actually called the playstation showcase so this is going to be something a bit bigger i feel and i think that we're going to learn a lot about games coming out in the near future for the playstation 5 i kind of consider this to be kind of like sony's e3 presentation like if they were going to do something at e3 this is probably what they would have done so what games are we going to see at this that really remains to be seen of course like i said for horizon forbidden west was of course delayed until early 2022 so that game is sort of probably going to be at this event but i don't think they'll dive too deep into this i think it's time to talk about games that either you've mentioned before that were supposed to come out this year and slipped into 2022 or beyond and with games like gran turismo 7 and of course god of war ragnarok i think those two games will definitely be at this presentation i'm sure there'll be some surprises at this event as well but i do kind of find it interesting because of course yesterday on the channel we talked about the potential for a nintendo direct to be happening on September 8th so if that does indeed end up happening which I still think that there is a decent chance of that happening a Nintendo Direct and then a PlayStation Showcase sort of back to back like that's what we need man if you talk about video game news on YouTube like it's been kind of dry since E3 like there really hasn't been all that much stuff going on but of course the holiday season everything starts to ramp up so I will be covering this event I'll do my usual sort of reaction video to this event a lot of people think maybe the Silent Hill game that it's gonna be is gonna be there and I'm like, no, I, I really, I really don't think Silent Hill exists. Like, I, I'm sorry to rain on your parades. Maybe it'll end up being there or something like that. But I just don't think it's real. But there will be surprises at this event. And I'm keeping my expectations in line. I know how Sony likes to do their presentations. But this is very exciting. So, really, what do you want to see at this event? What games are you looking forward to getting updated on the PlayStation 5? If, of course, you've managed to get a PlayStation 5. Let me know in the comment section down below. Next up, Nintendo announced a surprise game for the Nintendo Nintendo Switch that's actually releasing in 2021. So you're not going to have to wait very long for this first party title from Nintendo. Now, I do want to remind you guys of something. The word surprise, like that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good thing. Like you might go over to your girlfriend's house and surprise, there's another dude like laying in her bed. You might be walking down the street and surprise, you get smacked in the side of the head by some random stranger that you don't know. And this is kind of, I guess, like one of those surprises. It's not like a huge banger game or anything like that, but the word surprise does work here because nobody knew about this game and what is the game in question big brain academy brain versus brain a first party nintendo switch title coming out in the year of 2021 and i know a lot of you guys are excited for it the pre-orders are probably flowing for this as this game does come out on december 2nd now this game will be retailing for 
2009 there will be a physical and a digital version of this game and basically like they're, they're games for your brain like i believe this series started during the ds and wii era there wasn't one on the wii u there wasn't one on the 3ds but now nintendo seems to be bringing this back maybe because like people are just stupid and nintendo is like hey we need to educate people we need people's brains to be sharp again so that we as a society can sort of move on from all this craziness that we are enduring now i never played any of the original big brain academy games i played the brain age game that came out on the nintendo ds and that big head that would pop up pretty much just said hey you're you're an idiot just stop playing this game go back to playing something else but this game is going to basically focus on a more multiplayer aspect now there will be a single player aspect in it but judging by the title brain versus brain it has a lot of local co-op stuff that you're going to be doing so like it's a game to sort of play with family and friends if they come over or something like that and it's a very casual sort of experience like you're just doing little brain teasers and trying to do them in the fastest time possible obviously beat the other people so on and so forth so i think this is an interesting title and once again interesting isn't a word that necessarily means great it could be something kind of weird and this is kind of weird i do find it interesting though that nintendo actually announced this without sort of putting this in a nintendo direct but i think that's sort of a smart thing because this is a game that if you saw it at a nintendo direct you'd be like oh cool like this is a game that obviously is being marketed towards different people different people besides the usual nintendo crowd who watches the streams on youtube or on twitch or who watches video game news so yeah maybe you want to expand your mind and you know become a smarter individual which like i said a lot of people in society could use it this day so if you want to big brain academy brain versus brain will be hitting your nintendo switch on sec on december 2nd and surprise now, usually the first topic in the headline of my video is the final thing I'll talk about in a video, but I really can't end it with Big Brain Academy, Brain versus Brain for the Nintendo Switch. So I do have good news for Nintendo Switch owners, PlayStation 5 owners, and Xbox Series X owners, and this involves the Crisis Trilogy. Now, you might remember the original Crisis Remastered came out across all platforms last year, and it was a really fun game. I had never played the original Crisis. I got involved with Crisis with Crisis 3 on the Xbox 360. So this was a really fun experience for me, and I thought the Nintendo Switch version of the game, especially when they did those subsequent patches, was actually very, very good. Well, now Crisis Trilogy actually has a release date for when this game will be coming out. Now, this game will be coming out on October 15th. Now, this game will be coming out, like I said, on all platforms, but the Nintendo Switch version of the game is actually kind of interesting, because basically what they're going to do is, they're going to do a separate retail release for Crisis 1, Crisis 2, and Crisis 3. So these three games will actually be released individually at $29.99 a piece. Now, that's kind of high when you think about it. You're talking about $90 for these three games, but really it's sort of something that you could pick up like one game on sale if you're interested in it on the Nintendo Switch's eShop to see if you are wanting to check this out. And then you could pick up the physical versions when they come out at a later date. But as far as the games are concerned, you can actually buy these games individually on the Nintendo Switch. You don't have to do it within the Crisis Trilogy bundle. So if you already have Crisis Crisis 1 Remastered on the Switch, you know, no big deal. I do think it's going to be pretty cool to see how Crisis 3 runs on the Nintendo Switch. Now, Digital Foundry actually looked at an early build of the game, and they said it was, like, awesome. Like, they gave it glowing reviews and said that it was really awesome to see how well this game ran on the Switch, and I think that's going to be something to look forward to in the future, because, like I said, I played Crisis 3 back in the day on the 360, and I definitely really enjoyed it. You don't really get these first-person shooter games that are narrative-based any more now of course crisis did have online multiplayer it doesn't seem like the online multiplayer is included in any of these releases but this is definitely something to look forward to october is already like super stacked for nintendo switch games like it's absolutely crazy wait till we do the video at the end of this month talking about the upcoming games for the month of october like it's gonna blow your mind your wallet is gonna try like, try to like jump out of your pocket and like say leave me alone don't spend money because you don't have this money but there are so many games coming out and now with the crisis Crisis Trilogy Remastered coming out on the Nintendo Switch around that time as well. Very exciting stuff. Like I said, if you have an Xbox and a, or a PlayStation, you will be able to check these games out too. But, I mean, people listen to me to talk about Nintendo Switch stuff. They don't care what I have to say about Xbox or PlayStation. And I'm working on that. I am working on that.
Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to let me know what you think of everything in the comments section down below. What do you expect from this big PlayStation event taking place next week? Are you surprised at Big Brain Academy Brain vs. Brain and the Crisis Trilogy Remaster? Will you be checking out any of these games? And if so, what platform will you be checking it out on? And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Like I said, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like and share the video as well. We are well on the road to 400,000 subs. I'd like to hit it soon. So so let's hit it soon so I could do some giveaways for you guys. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.